What happened? I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. Uh, huh? Huh? The unused classroom? How'd we get here? Hey, Chris? What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything. Was it? It's a fucking, like, Squidward, like, drawing. Like, you look at, look at the thing on the right. Doesn't that kind of look like the Squidward thing? Like, the, like Squidward's, like, weird painting? I don't know, that just re immediately reminds me. I don't know, just don't ask how I came to that conclusion or why I'm all of a sudden thinking that. It's just... It's just something that popped to mind. Just pay no attention to me. Anyway, as I was saying... Fucking alright, Susie. Jeez, getting a bit of sass from you. I was just making a, a simple observation. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but... Yeah. Let's just tell Alphas we couldn't find any chalk. It's a bunch of chess pieces and Legos. Do 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 do. Ah! My legs! I'm in great terrible pain! <laughs> it's a checkerboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Click all, click all the buttons. It's a light switch. Playing cards spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a yellow poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Who's Alvin? Is that like an un like a really like obscure Undertale character? Because honestly, it's been so fucking long. <laughs> of I only really remember the main ones, like Undying, Sans, Papyrus. I remember, I remember a few other minor ones, like Monster Kid and such, but like, I can't remember all the other, like, characters. Like the, like, tertiary sort of, like, like, characters you meet randomly in, like, one location and never see again. I do, I do remember the Abster Bloop, though, because, you know, he's, he's just so sad. No. Man, the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess Alphys... Alphys... Guess Alphys is 11. I thought there was supposed to be something else, but I don't know, I guess I'm a bit dyslexic. Which I actually am. Guess Alph Alphys is 11, even no better than to ask us... Fucking, what's all the... Whatever. Guess Alphys is no better than, than to ask us next time, huh? I seriously cannot just that one word just really mangled with my brain. Hmm? Well, guess we should go. Wait, wasn't that like a different door? Like ha. Huh. This is very strange and confusing. I can't tell if this is supposed to be one of those things where it's like it was all in our mind or like like maybe it's one of the things like it's it's supposed to be like both like it's either supposed to be it's supposed to be real or in like in their minds you know and it's left for interpretation sort of thing see you later i guess chris yes let's go back there tomorrow all right sure thing bud but just one more thing. You really need to invest in breathments, honestly. Actually, wait a minute. I just realized it. No, 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 I'm quitting. Uh, no, wrong button. Where's the... Here we go. Item. Ball of junk. You looked at the junk ball in your aberration. Nothing happened. Oh, so all the stuff I have is just junk. The door is locked. The door is locked. You ran the water fountain. It's lukewarm. Ew. I hate lukewarm water. Ring ring. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school. But for half an hour, I could and could, but your 
but he never picked up. You've had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I am afraid I have. I am going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend. You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer, but when you return home, you are going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. <laughs> that, that is honestly a real mum thing to kind of do. <laughs> like she's gonna, she'd get super pissed at you for like not um for not coming home and all that stuff, or like you know being super late. But when like she finds out you do something like extravagant, like like maybe something like something crazy, like where were you? Oh, I was out, you know, playing football. What? You were actually going outside and doing activity and sports and moving your body? <laughs> oh, it's this jerk ward again. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. I need to get a new voice for this guy because this voice is going to kill me. And I know that he's in the in the next chapter a lot more. So I need to come up with more things. Hello, Chris. I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I reduce you is your fine to I mean 64.23. Consider it Chris. Oh hello then, it's me, the cool guy. Go with something like that. He sounds he's trying to act all cool, but he sounds like a complete dorkwad. The cool guy, it's me, I'm the cool guy. What's going on, man? Chris, what's up? Guy is working for Einstein on my project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Right. Gotta go to cottage. So damn study hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. Yeah. Yes, definitely seems, you know, worth investing in studying and all that. Wait, 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 what? What does what the thing say? Okay, yes. Teens Corner Monthly Tune Reviews. Mew Mew Kissy QE2. This review had Mew Mew Tune who has a first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears, with a darker storyline and more mature themes. The second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, oh fucking hell, this is every single critic out there. <laughs> uh, not to mention Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the Raman and I at my... These are the type of crit critic reviews that, like, come up with, like, the weirdest insults. Like, it, it can be quite funny, but, like, there's also... There's also points where it can be extremely annoyed. Mainly annoyed. <laughs> yeah. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, the anonymous yellow lizard. Oh gee, I wonder who that could be. It's such a mystery, ain't it? I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. Who should really read them? No, you don't say I should read it. No, you don't say books. Read them. Wow. Ever. He looks through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Alright, I see what you did there, Toby Fox. You sly, sly, sly dog. You sly, sly dog. Oop. Well, this is a picture and a half. Hey, punk, get out. Oh, God. The problem is, I want to give her a tough voice, but I'm afraid of accidentally sounding like a lot like Susie. Uh. Hey, punk, get out of the, out of the road. You're blocking traffic. <laughs> hey, it's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring. Nothing happens in this town. 
just wish something would, would shake things up. <laughs> you got something to report? Alphys. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why? Do they do something illegal? Gotcha! If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Hmm. This is very confusing and has left me very much, me and many other people puzzled. Thankfully, we have the nutjob game theorists to make some sort of theory about it and some really stupid ass connection between one video character to another. Like, if I'm gonna be honest, I like Mad Pat and all. I think I do find him quite, you know, you know, interesting to just, like watch his theories and stuff and how he comes to, to the conclusion of stuff. But like, Matt, sometimes you can just go a bit too much with your theories and. Entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Wait, if it's why are you out here? Would you be interested in trying some of uh, many? <laughs> Would you be interested in trying some of our uh, many twenty-four pizza flavor? We've got no more genius, ice, crazy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop it down at Icy's PC. Yeah, they gotta give them goofy voices. Rush me up! Rush me up, boss! Oh, God, someone's actually here. Uh, uh, Easy's Pizza is your number one spot for a piping PC of pizza. Hey, hey, wait a sec. I recognize you. Hey, Burger Pants. I can't remember this dude. Little buddy, it's me. Wanna chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Asriel. Do you know when Azzy's coming home? You, you can't tell him this, but I really miss the die. The die? The guy? I'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times, picking up for example, chicks, which, as a matter of course, may not have actually happened. But the one time I didn't mean I can't say with me. Well, she was writing me a speeding ticket. And I'm good at leaving now. Goodbye. This is getting very uncomfortable very quickly. Uh -huh. Whoa, holy shit. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. I thought that there's a bit of drink. Okay. Hmm. Look at this distinguished gentleman. Look at him. Look at how he's just run. Uh, yeah, he's a very distinguished gentleman, ain't he? Looking at my rugged body. You must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is I pull all my leftover pancakes in this drain hut. Oh my god, he's a fucking genius. So, for two girls, that'll mean the creeps, the cinnamon latte. Too many pacifies and a piece of firewood. Oh, I get it. Uh, I like I like the like the vibe of the waitress here. Maybe I should sign up too. I don't know why I'm giving a bit of a Canadian thing. Maybe even not really Canadian, but I don't know why I went with that voice. If I go at nervous, I just melt all the, all the ice. Hey, oh, how about that, eh? Hey? How's about, how's about this? A very stereotypical accent <laughs> for a Canadian. And <laughs> how you doing, friend? I'm not your friend, guy. He's not your buddy, friend. He's not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I did that wrong, but I love fucking that so much. It's the stupidest shit. Your life. Oh, nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special, and do you have any edible glitter? <laughs> the youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Uh, I've dealt with that a few times before. Hey there, haven't seen you in a while, huh? 
I remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come in and all the spatial cause things up happen and then y'all stop coming together. But every Sunday you and your brother still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate and you two split it down to that table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. That's really me seeing her. Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate? What well, on the house, hon? Wait, do I have the chocolate? It's the chocolate. Must have chocolate. Must have chocolate. Hot chocolate! Yes, hot chocolate. Okay, let's go down here and. Hey, it's a boy! It's a boy! I mean, I mean, man! San! San's the man! San is the man! Sans is the man! What's up? Hey, Rooker's walking around. How are you, kid? Yeah, it's real nice, isn't it? Especially considering I've never met you before. <laughs> yeah, that's a little creepy. A little bit of a winking towards the camera thing. The name's Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm new in town. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why? Got anyone I should know better? I'm going to do my mum because I know what's going to happen and I love it. <laughs> your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mum last night. Oh! I got to use that one. <laughs> I got to try and use that one on somebody. And it's so. Uh, it. If, uh, like someone says like you have no friends you're never gonna have any friends now nah, I already don't worry I already befriended your mum last night oh get fucked <laughs> so stupid she's great come to the store to buy chocolate kisses said she's got a locker door to stop you from eating them <laughs> you sound like a fun kid huh? hey hey bud are you busy tomorrow I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Sure. Wow. You were delivery. Hating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger. Well, you guys are showing complain. Huh? What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be doing that. Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Hey. I sort of almost fall, fall into like a Patrick Warburton thing. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. <laughs> knock, knock. No responses, but the distant trowels of bones. Of boons. Of boons. Hey, Monster Gate. Yo, Chris. You survived Susie, huh? I mean, I never saw a bee anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept, kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just stepped throw solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right to Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out, smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us out us at her handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Susie, Susie sucks, Chris. <laughs> Well, maybe she wouldn't suck if you weren't being so mean to her. To me, honestly, it just seems that he's, um, he's, what the fuck, she's just a bit, like, looking for friends, but, like, isn't really great when it comes to socializing, unfortunately. Let's out into anger too easily. And more aggression. Uh, oh, Chris, Chris, you're, you're okay. I, I was worrying when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip mass? Oh, well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know? You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. Eh, what are these drawings? Uh, uh, oh, Chris, did did you want any... I'm uh, talking about something? Saucer, flowers... Flowers, let's go with flowers. Uh, oh, these flowers, they're from your dad. He, he, he always asks how you're doing in school, and then gives me a, a, a bunquet of them. 
Actually, that he always gives me flowers. He makes me wonder if he, if he uh, likes, if he, if he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. We're not giving you any shipper material, you fucking Undertale shippers. We're not giving you anything there, but you'll do it anyway. <sighs> uh, honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero kiss. He's huge and could kick my ass. Yeah, well, you know who's um, huge and could kick your ass, and everyone, and everyone including mine? Undyne, trust me, you, do, you two should meet up. I think you'd be great with one another. It's a saucer of milk. Yeah, okay, what's with the saucer? What's with the saucer? It's not a flying saucer. Oh, uh, this saucer of milk? Yeah, it's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Uh, well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I like to think that there's a cat. M my cat. Why have I got the feeling that, that if I talk to one of the many characters in this town... <laughs> <laughs> okay. What? Aren't you a creepy fucker? Knock knock. Ooh, are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mummy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? What? Right. I'm sure if I talk to one of these characters, so uh, that's creepy as hell. <gasps> that's bleak. Knock knock. Uh, I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't you prance? Oh, no, wait, no, that's Metaton? Hmm, oh, what's done here? Ah, it's the little night guys. What's this? It's a male picnic table, sitting in a buzz like on the ground. Do your fingers into the holes in the table. Stick fingers. Your fingers don't fit through the top anyway anymore. You try from below. You can become over covered in cobwebs. Ew. Okay. There's so many fucking characters to talk to. Alright. Hello. Dum da dum dum. Here's someone there. Just a moment. I will be finished watering these flowers. Oh, here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris! You're definitely a lot more affectionate than you were in the first game. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well, now make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything like that. Let's see. Oh. Oh. This is an eerie sight. It's a golden f flower protected in a container. It's a cyan flower protected in a container. It's a yellow flower protected in a, in a container. There's two yellow flowers. It's an orange flower. Ooh, boy. This is a oh, boy. Hey. Yes, these flowers are still cooking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. Where's back to soil? It's a small TV on top of some superhero comics. Yep, yep, the other. Yep. You've got the superheroes. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, so if you're hungry. Help yourself to anything you want. Open fridge. Let's see the photos. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a banquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Reindeer monster. Hmm. Curious. Oh, you're just going to be on either side, aren't you? Oh. <clears throat> what do you want to talk about? So, Chris, I was thinking, perhaps when Ralph's Azriel comes home, we could all go to, de to the diner, just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? Ho ho, 
Yeah, it should give him like a Santa thing. Like, I feel like that could be a cool thing. It's like, oh, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. I feel like that suits his voice very well. I don't know. That's the sort of thing I get from him. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother. Our secret. You got the banquet of flowers. Banquet, banquet, banquet. Uh, da, da, I can't talk. Oh, shut up, don't judge me. I can sense you judging me. Stop it! Stop judging me! Oh. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. Oh, that's our home, I think. I don't know. Hello. Hello, cat fam. You're like the, probably the parents of that cat in the diner. You're crazy. Like, I what's up? Give a cat a hug. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I'm not even actually a man. Oh my god. Can I tell you about something? Actually, like anything though, your child. Oh my god. I feel like what a cute The event when we when, and me and him went into the dance. That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him and danced him appropriately in front of your mom. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No. That's putting thoughts in my head. No. Stop. Stop it. Stop it, thoughts. No. 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 You're not allowed in my head. No. 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 Stay out. Stay out. Stay out. <laughs> I got arrested in the park lot for making a scene. Oh, that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Uh, hey, neighbor Bieber. When's your brother dog uh, come by, huh? My girl, I always love to see him. He's a sweet little man. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so. Oh, she's the sister. I can tell, but yeah. Okay, sister. Yeah, you're the father and they're the two. Two sisters. Right, 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 right. He's just got one pro. He's got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't look like frozen Isn't and cat at food. Uh huh. Why do they call him Doug? <gasps> Is he the nostalgia critic? <laughs> There's some kind of scratchy noise that's coming from the inside. Yo. <laughs> Long time to say, what's that? You want the dog man and thing? <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Fuck it. Ah, oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister in law. Nah, I'm joking, but I can remember that time I played to even, even down with Anzi. I like, made him give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and, like, I think she basically down that one. I thought your family went to church like every single day that week. Man, it's a, Toyo is a very, you know, wholesome Christian, you know, wife, mother. You know, you gotta respect her, you know, she has, she, she upholds, you know, she, she, she upholds her. You know, so it's like, oh no, that's too lewd, don't do that. No, don't hold hands, that's too lewd, that, that sort of stuff. That's sort of her thing. That's definitely Toriel. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. They just closed the blinds. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Okay, hospital. I don't think you should be... You know, of all people to be, you know, working as a reception at a hospital, I wouldn't really have you, but, uh, you know, it's 2021 and all that stuff. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. Yeah, they do! I kid you not, like, ev it, like I'm going to be a bit of a tan tantrum here, but, like, every single doctor's, like, you know, waiting room always has these. It's like, and like even like not just like like doctors' rooms, of so like waiting rooms and like hospitals and such, but also like, like, you know, go to the dentist, they're in there. Like even to banks, like they just they just basically spawn in like all waiting rooms. It's so weird. The beads march grimly along their set path. Oh piano. 
It's an ob obligatory pi hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. Yeah, they also have that as well. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it. Blink. <coughs> you usually say the piano is a bit too obvious to play. Is everything okay? Is you see a letter check? I'm sort of trying to do like, you know, since he's got his teeth all out, I'm trying to like, you know, talk with my teeth together. You know, you try and do that. It's like, sorry, yeah, go, you know, that sort of thing. You try and protrude your teeth a bit more. Oh! <laughs> Dad, I just say what, hey, that to her. I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I die. I literally die. <laughs> Mm. Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. <laughs> really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> yeah, that seems about the, the right response towards that. <laughs> uh, oh. Not as, uh, well, it's not as... It's not as crazy as when my f parents first interacted. Gonna give, bring a bit of life story, like my life story thing, but and I always find it funny how the two like their first interaction with one another, and that was literally like, uh, like my mum and dad were like sitting on the bench next to each other, and my mum was playing some music, and um, she didn't have her headphones in properly, so um, my dad was always hearing, you know, what music she was putting on. On. And so when one music came on, that mum just, well, like, I don't know what it was, but like, it was some like really shitty pop music of the time, and like, she decided to immediately skip it, and then my dad just went, Oh, that's the best decision you've made all day. <laughs> he just sat there listening to a um, uh, music playing, not saying that she didn't have her headphones in properly. And then when she changes music from a really shitty song, oh, because even she hates it, that <laughs> oh my god, finally, that's the best decision you made all day. Uh, it's funny how things work like that. You have really weird interactions with people that, you know, at first you may think that they won't get together because of that, but then they end up together. It's really weird how, you know, that can sometimes work. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. <laughs> Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers Ega 3 be it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... Kind of waiting to finish with you, Dad. Noel, m maybe, maybe you shouldn't wait. D Dad, you should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring in ne it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the uh, group project voice. Wait, bad guy again. What's his name? Nerdly. Gotta remember that one. I have to remember that name for him because that's what I'm gonna fucking call the guy. <laughs> it's, um, Badly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Here we go with the overprotective Dad. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Bye, honey. Oh. Hello. Oh. Hi, Chris. Hmm. Flowers. It's a get well soon card from your mum. It's signed inside. Hey, Chris. You know you signed the inside, right? Why are you staring at it like you haven't seen it before? Is your, your penmanship that good? Was I not, not moved enough? Wait. Why did I not... Wait... Okay, that's a bit of a weird observation. There's some... Okay, there's deeper shit going on here, because there's a whole thing of, like... 
sand like with me saying like how I recognize him but we've never met and then like me being looking at my handwriting like I've never seen it before when it some yeah there's something weird I just there's something weird going on I don't it, it's very confusing well jingle my jawstone bells looks like Christmas came early actually it's pretty much around the corner perfect timing eh good thing I pretty much fucked up my um whole uploading schedule for this series all right Chris just give me this uh, the straight shot why why are you here did your mum make you come here no really you've grown up a lot Chris I'm proud of you it wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door now you're the creepy kid right in front of me <laughs> Okay, okay, seriously. You want a chat or something? Hmm. I feel it's a bit wrong to ask someone about their illness when they're, like, lying in bed. I don't know, I don't want to be too imposing. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a bad daughter. I just wish she wasn't so... defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus... How is a reindeer monster afraid of Santa Claus? Anyway, everything scares her. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember, she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. <laughs> Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what what's tough about being in, a, in here, Chris. In here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? We'll try, man, we'll try. Oh, God! <laughs> we went from something that's so very sad and serious to, like, nightmare fuel. This cast, as those white wizards, relegated me to this healing chamber. My blood is boiling for battle. Yeah, the moment I'll strap him down a bit, lads. He's uh, he's uh, he's going off a bit in the deep end. Whoop, church. Sorry, man. I'm an atheist. Bye. Hmm. Cussing Boone Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from my dreams. Take a rest here if anyone asks. You're writing. Hmm. Actually, let's see. Let's see. Let's read the grave, shall we? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Mutler, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, a car caraco microphone for a brave singer. Huh. Moving on from that shit. It's locked. Well, shit just went south very quickly, didn't it? And back to happy time music. La 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 la. Okay, this is getting, this is going on for a bit now, ain't it? So we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna go and move on. Oh my god. Can't okay, know it. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you're awake. But do not eat it all this time. I'm alright. I won't. I promise, ma'am. Chris, what is it, honey? Me. Chris, honey. 
you have grown so up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? Yes, when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Mm, I think I grew some real horns. Yeah, and they're red as well. It's a bit weird. Also, I've been also you know I've been having this weird urge for blood and you know and murder lately. You know, it's just been you know it's, it's not normal. And also, I've been also and also sometimes my voice becomes a bit demonic and I have glowing red eyes. You know, is that normal? Remember that video game you and Azzy used to play? What is it called? Super Smashing Fighters. It's Super Smash Bros, Mom. Jeez, get it right. When he, when he was very little, he loved the little green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decorations. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept crying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Oh. <coughs> oh, man. He hates the Dr. Seuss book. Man, that's a good book. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's still cooling. It's a good book. <laughs> Maybe that's... <laughs> Maybe... Uh... Um, Asriel's the one responsible for trying to cancel the Dr. Seuss books. Yeah, remember that shit when people were trying to cancel the Dr. Seuss books? Yeah. Anyone trying to cancel a Dr. Seuss book? Screw you. It's only you. The door is locked. Alright. Let's go to bed. Eh. If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes, and hopefully I'll never wake up. That's what we all wish for, don't we? Anyway, who decided to go to bed? <coughs> and thank God, because my throat is fucking killing me for just doing these few voices. You had to sleep in your clothes? What kind of madman are you? Personally, me, I sleep in my boxes. I don't see you completely nude, but like, you know, have something there. I have, I have at least a pair of boxes and some socks. You know. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ! Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, but the very next day, you gave it away. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's nearly Christmas. <laughs> it's like, it, here, for this Christmas, I give you my heart. Oh, how sweet. Ah! Oh, what are you doing? Ah! Giving you my heart! Oh. Oh. Dun dun dun! And I have no idea what happens in chapter 2, because I've been avoiding spoilers and somehow I've actually been able to avoid them very well, despite the fact this game has been out for like. Uh, the, no, the chapter's been out for like. Um, so many. Um, so many months. Like, it came out like September or something, didn't it? Usually stuff gets spoiled in, within the first few hours. And considering it's an Undertale game, it'd be spoiled in the first few minutes. It'd be spoiled before the thing even fucking comes out. Don't forget, I'm with you in the dark. There's probably deeper me meaning to this um, song. <laughs> to be continued. As all stories are. <laughs>